So today we're gonna talk about how to play the box on the trombone. So the box is, is a new Roddy Rich song that's been doing really, really well. I know a lot of people wanna play it. It's really short, but there's some little details that like if you follow, you'll be able to play it pretty easily. So let's just start at the beginning. So the beginning, that that intro, uh, what I like to do, so this is what I did in my cover when I did it. So. I don't even know what octave they're doing that in, but whatever that is, like, so they do, so they do that um, a couple times in the beginning. If you want to think about it, like counting wise, right when the beat comes in, so one, two, three, four, one, two, e, u, two, three, e, u, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Two, three. All right, so once you get that down, once you're comfortable saying it a couple times with the rhythm, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two, e, u, two, three, e, u, two, three, e, u, two, three, e, u. So once you get comfortable saying it with with the track, then you can then you can go to playing it. So the notes are just um, D flat to a C. So super simple. Um, and you're in like the middle octave. So let's take it from the top. So, and with that too, I just want to be clear, like when you're playing short notes like that, you know, it'd be super easy to just play it like, or if you're trying to do a cover and you're trying to nail it just like they played in the recording, you want to make sure that you're articulating the notes just like he is. Um, and I know that's kind of hard to do, but you want to think about it like, okay, he's singing it this way, so I'm going to try to play it this way. So when he sings like that, e, ooh, right? You want to think about it like, it's like short. They're short, but at the same time, I had that little, um, my little, uh, little lead in there. Even that's fine though too. But just make sure you're not over articulating it or playing it too long or anything like that. You want to make sure you're playing it just the same length as the recording. So that opening part there, right? That's basically how I played it when I did the cover of it. Um, pulling out the coop of the lot, pulling out the coop of the lot, right? So like, you want to think about it. You want to try to sing it a couple times, but you also want to like think about it like. Thing about like mumble rappers, and I wouldn't even consider Roddy Rich necessarily a mumble rapper, but you know this kind of like hip hop style. The the vocalists they sing all different types of rhythms. And they don't really pay attention to like the um, their rhythms. Like they'll just fit in as many words as they can into like a certain like a couple of beats. You know what I mean? It's kind of it's interesting. So you have to really pay attention to that because he basically says pulling out the coop, like pulling out the coop and the lot. Like it's not, it doesn't have that like simple flow at the beginning. So you have to try to figure out a way how you're gonna play it to try to match it the way that he's saying it. So you know, if I were to do it like like I did on the on the cover. Now the good news is, like I just showed you, he basically repeats that part a couple of times. So, pulling out the coop out the lot, da 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 So that's the beginning part. Simple, right? And those are just, there's two notes, B flat and A flat. Simple. I just put the lick in the box, had to put a stick in the box, right? So. Uh, 
Now the way I played it was You want to make sure that you're playing it with that swagger, that feel, you know what I mean? So that you can really play it the way that he's singing it, you know what I mean? So, so from the top, ready? I'll play it with him. So those two part, those that next section is just the same thing repeated. There's only one slight difference. So the pull up the whole damn seal. I'm gonna get lazy, right? So the if i were to play that part like this tell me if this like you know what I mean? tell me if this sounds good and i know you can't actually tell me because this is a video but like tell me does this sound good to you just because we have a slide doesn't mean we have to do all this extra stuff so like keep it simple and make sure you're playing it like the exact um amount of like length that he's saying that phrase so you want to think about it like and the second part is so the only difference is da -da 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 -da. so most songs have a major key and they have like a relative minor key if you want to think about it that way this song is in um the key of b flat minor now a lot of times if a song's in b flat minor the corresponding key would be d flat so you could say oh it's in b flat minor or d flat major D flat major though doesn't really get it done. If you want to solo over this song, you're really gonna think about it in B flat minor, because even the first chord of the song is B flat minor, and it stays in that that chord progression for, throughout the tune pretty much. So, B flat minor, um, that's like your beginning point. If you can't play B flat minor, take notes right now. B flat minor scale. <laughs> smooth and in, in, in time and lock that lock that time in um really get that thing as quickly as you can and then take it up the octave too scale too it works great over that so you know you want to learn those too um and even like harmonic minor you only change one note you only change the the a flat to an a, a natural So 
it's just it's just like learning those and like getting comfortable in that. And then when you go and play the box, like it's gonna be simple. <laughs> If you can really nail those 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 scales and stuff and get your ear to think like okay b flat minor and i know everything in b flat minor and i can play in b flat minor when you go and you try to learn this song it's going to be a piece of cake because you're already playing in that key you already know it's like playing a song in b flat major it's like it's not that hard once you learn the scales that go with it so really focus on that too um but back to what we we're saying about learning the song so the next part so after like the pull up the whole damn seal i'm gonna get lazy or whatever that repeats right so for that part so this is where the alternate positions comes in so when i play that part that's where i go from b flat to f in six i don't play it in first because you could go if you played it in first it would be like this it works i guess but here's where, this is where it works better. So check this out. So when I play that, sorry, I want to make sure you guys can see. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, when I do... So I'm playing the B flat down to the concert F, right? And then I'm playing the D flat. D flat to G flat to F. So. That's pretty much it. Honestly, that's really that's pretty much the tune. Once you know that, um, there's really not that much more that you gotta learn. Um, but yeah, alternate positions are key. Like if you can play that that F and six, it's only gonna help you. Because now if you play like this, check this out. If you play like this, it's harder to get out there it's so much easier normally i'm not like the biggest fan of playing those in six like i'm i'm normally against playing certain things in, in sixth position but i really think like you know if you really want to play this and make it sound clean and make it sound nice i'll play it in sixth position anytime you have like another note you have like three my, my the golden rule is if you have like two or three notes in a row you want to play it um in six so if you have like two or three notes in a row between like five six and seventh position you want to play them in those positions unless it's something where the partials are really really tough and you can't really like get them to sound clean but that's like the only circumstance i would really recommend um just playing playing those in six so i'll play it for you one time with the um with the recording <laughs>
So that that's basically all I played when I did the cover of it, and then I took it and I repeated it again. Um, but I think afterwards too, like if you want to add a solo or you want to like take that next section or whatever, that's all cool too. When I played that one part. This part right here. Those notes are like really like like um, legato. So I just want to talk to you guys about something else too. So, you know, I make these tutorial videos to try to help you guys because I know the position to be in where you want to learn a song and you feel like it's going to help your overall playing or you want to like, you know, go maybe go and show all your friends. Or you want to go learn it or something and just so you can say you learned it or so you can play it for somebody or whatever. As great as that is, there's a beauty to like learning your horn and really like learning the fundamentals and i know I, I preach fundamentals on this channel but that's the only way you're gonna get to the position where you can like play these songs without even thinking of them without having to you know watch videos like these or without even having to read music you know once you get the fundamentals down you can like listen to things you can learn all these songs by ear and then it'll just save you time it'll save you effort it'll save you energy um and you'll just be getting better because once you can learn all these songs by ear, it's like, you know what I mean? It, it's like, it's it's just a done deal. You know what I mean? You really, you can work on playing them more stylistically and playing them better, but then you can have more fun. It's more fun to play once you can play by ear and you can learn songs quickly and then you can like, you know, you can have fun with them as opposed to just getting this part down. This part sucks trying to learn the notes and stuff. And I feel like there are a lot of people out there who are trying to learn these songs but they don't have the fundamentals down so it's like you can't learn the song if you don't know how to play your instrument like if you're just learning the notes it's going to be very very tough to play the song or you can play the song but you won't be able to play it in a way where anyone's going to want to listen to it and i know that sounds kind of shitty um but i'm just trying to help you guys out so you guys can be the best players possible youtube is a is a is a platform that people go to for help for advice and i think there's a lot of people who are on youtube who are giving bad advice i think a lot of people on youtube are you know they're just they're just trying to give people the easy way out <clears throat> because a lot of people think like okay i'm gonna go to youtube to solve a problem and once i figure out the problem okay that's it then i go and you know do what youtube told me to do and then i go home and i try to do that on my own and then hopefully i got it but trombone's different because trombone is an instrument that isn't like other instruments it's very very difficult to play and very very difficult to play well and the only way that you're going to get this stuff down is to really dig into the fundamentals learn all the fundamentals um but aside from just that you know no one's just going to hand you the notes and just say oh just go learn it like putting in the time and the effort and really just shedding like your scales knowing all your scales listening a lot doing all those things that's going to get you to, to the next level and that's where it's really going to help you but i just wanted to get that off my chest because i know that a lot of people are just trying to get like sheet music and they're trying to learn these songs from other people um but really just think about it you know what do you want from the trombone what do you want out of the trombone you know i know when i first started playing piano and keyboard it was very very difficult for me because you know i didn't really know how to play so you know what i would do i'd do the same thing i'd go on youtube and be like oh how, how do how do how do i play this song i want to learn this song so i can like you know but why are you trying to learn this song or why are you trying to learn those songs are you trying to learn them to get better or are you trying to learn those songs to try to flex on people to try to show up and be like oh check this out i can play this you know that's not what it's about it's about making music and it's about getting better at what you do you know what i mean so once again if you are on here just trying to find the, the song there's no shade on you you know you're not a bad person you're not doing it wrong you know i think it's cool and you can learn something from just this video 
Because, you know, on Cuss Campbell, I'm trying to make you guys the best, baby. That's all we do on here, baby. But, yeah, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna walk you through this tutorial. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, you know where to find me. Um, but I really just want you guys to, like, understand that there's more to it than just this. And, like, learning one song. I really want you guys to take the next step and just keep trying to get better at your instruments and keep, you know, growing and learning and all that good stuff. And I also wanted to throw this out there, too. If you guys need any, like, one-on-one -on -one um, extra help, kind of step-by-step -step guidance. If you need a mentor, if you need somebody who's going to teach you, someone who's going to kick your ass, you, you know where to find me. Uh, my email, I'll, I'll drop my email in the description. Um, also, to my social links, if you want to send me a DM, shoot me an email, or whatever works best for you. Um, I offer Skype lessons, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm here to help anyone who wants to get better on the trombone. So, for anyone else who wants to you know learn from the learn from the chant let's go baby i got some more room in my schedule i really want to fill this up i really want some more students and i want some more people who you know i can teach and make better and bring to the next level so if you're interested in that send me an email or send me a dm link in the description thank you guys for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications i will see you guys in the next video and follow me on instagram I gotta charge my phone before the